is Heathcliff hiding? Bro is like the strongest being in this game. He's never gotten his HP bar down to the yellow zone because of his like unique skill and how like strong his defensive ability is. But beyond that defensive ability, Bro literally stopped time. Before Kirito got a decisive blow in, he cheated, then won the duel. Heathcliff, I don't think we can trust. There's something very sus about him. There was also the, you know, could I deal laughing, coughing bullshit. That was fucking annoying. Holy shit, that was so annoying to watch. But the Flash, Asuna saves the day. And now, after another near-death experiment, Asuna is like completely down to just leave the guild and just like... We're gonna do housewife, house husband shit. I think we're gonna get married this episode. And we also had virtual segs last episode, right? Are we making virtual babies? How does that work? I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Let's begin today's reaction. Jiju wa rokai shita. I understand the situation. Jiju wa rokai shita. It is such a difference in the quality of voice acting, dude. Uneasy? What do you mean? There's traitors in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't trust Heathcliff! He's sussy! Okay. Is today's episode gonna be a slice of life, just chill episode? We're just chilling in the cabin side now? Don't tell me this entire episode is literally just cooking and going on a walk with Asuna and love and. <laughs> Should we skip it? Should we skip today's episode and just go to the next one? No, we can't do that. Should we? Should we? Is there something important in this episode? We gotta let it play, right? We gotta let it. Oh. The ring? A ring? Oh, we, we really got married, huh? I'm not sure. Wait, do we have the marriage scene? We haven't, right? Last episode, maybe we're just engaged. I don't know. We got, the, we got a wedding ring, though. Uh oh, matching rings, matching rings. <laughs> so, I mean, like, outside this game, you want to get married? Okay. So, he's just really worried that, like, if they actually beat the game and go out, like, you know, will she love me? Maybe foreshadowing here. Opening. God damn, I'm on top. Girl of the morning dew is Asna? Asna? <laughs> Asna really loves doting over Kirito, huh? How old is she? Don't spoil me. Kirito is 16. Asna could be older? I thought we were same age. Imagine she's like 30 something. <laughs> Imagine she's like 35. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's stay for you. Let's stay together forever. All right. <laughs> He's so embarrassed about you. are just fucking like, I knew if you wouldn't be together forever. <laughs> yes, I heard it all. The dungeons. What are we doing? People are dying. What are we doing? Have fun? How? Wow, holding hands! Going on a walk! So romantic! Oh, you want to ride? You want to ride the black sword? Color heavy. Okay. Color heavy. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> you don't want that one's a piggyback ride. Come on, just get on. I just want you to know that just a couple episodes ago, this was the girl that got mad at Kirito for not going to the front lines and fucking around just sleeping on the fields because people are dying every moment Kirito is not on the front lines. And now, she has decided to fuck off with Kirito. Everybody is dying for every day that we just chill here and do nothing. You understand? How oh, Asuna has changed. <laughs> That's right, Sachi died for this. What are some other waifus? Liz got cucked for this! What, what else? What are some other girls? Bop! 
Bald. Bald. Are these NPCs or real characters? Are these actual real characters that's in like vacation and just like fishing? If they were NPCs, maybe Asuna would want to kill them, you know? See things? Ghosts of Griselda? Sachi and Griselda's ghosts? <gasps> We're back to the ghost plot, guys. Oh shit, it's that same soundtrack too. Oh, the vibes are ruined. Kirito, what have you done? Uh, he's making this shit up. Something white. Oh. There it is! Wait! Who the fuck is that? Wait, wait, no, 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 there's an actual thing there, though. Kirito's story is accidentally becoming true. <sighs> She's gonna fall down. She's gonna open her fucking legs. Kirito's gonna watch behind, as a gentleman he is, to make sure that she lands safe. Then she's gonna go, Kirito! Oh, never mind, they didn't do it! Oh, I thought you would! Hmm? This girl? And in the opening, there's multiple girls that's shown. One of the girls... Yeah, this one. This one! I thought in the opening, this was Sachi again. Cause she just kinda looked like Sachi, but it's, it's, it's that girl, huh? It's that girl. What, what? Okay, we gotta... So even in this fucking arc where we're just doing house husband, house wife shit, are you telling me a new girl's gonna get fucking introduced? Oh, oh, it just fell down? So a new girl. Okay. Kinda borderline lolly, not really. No cursor. Not a player? NPC? Not an NPC. A bug? A girl that doesn't have the player cursor. And not an NPC? Hmm. Then again, in the opening, she was seemingly locked in like a virtual room around a bunch of monitors, right? So like, maybe she's like part of the system? That's Kaiba! It's Kaiba, guys! Kaiba! Kaiba! What is Kaiba doing this entire time? Has he just been playing the good soundtracks whenever there's been moments? Maybe Kaiba wanted to be a player this entire time. Maybe Kaiba, he never told us what his goals were in episode one. Maybe he just wanted to fucking smurf around and play as a fucking character and nobody would know. And the little girl is Kaiba right now. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he wants to be a little girl. I don't know. You don't know Kaiba's true heart. Maybe he wants to be a lolly man. Harath didn't notice. <laughs> NPC harassment notice? So not an NPC, not a special quest thing. She's just a player that got lost and doesn't have the cursor anymore. Tell me. One second, guys. It's almost been like a six hour stream and my AirPods are dying from battery. I gotta twitch the headset. Alright, who would describe himself as a girl? Fucking over 70% of the players that played out this game! Mr. Burnout Omega, don't you remember everybody? That was a girl, but they all just turned into dudes when the mirror showed up. Alright, let's continue. Mm. Will she wake up? I don't know. What are we doing? The sleeping fucking princess? Well, this episode is about trying to wake her up? Fucking splash some water on her, dude! He's sleeping. <laughs> He's already sleeping. Asuna fan service. What the fuck is this girl? Okay. First she groomed Kirito. Now she's grooming this new girl. Oh, she's my oh! Dude, Kaiba just 
just wanted some fucking ass in that, you know, some fan service. See? Kaiba was like, come on, groom me too. I know you want to. As soon as Asuna got close, she started smiling, dude. Nah, that's Kaiba, dude. That's Kaiba. <laughs> oh, she's up. Hello. Explain yourself. What are you? Can you not talk? You have one? She doesn't have a name. Yui? Hello, Yui. Auna. Yes, Auna and Kito. Conveniently, no memories. Okay. Kito. No, bitch. Ri. Kirito. She dumb as a fucking brick, dude. Nah, I'm being mean to her. I'm being mean to her. She's just trying to be all cute. I'm being fucking mean. Yeah, I remember, no, 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 this is Kaiba, right? No, 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 Kaiba is acting. Kaiba is faking all this. This is a fucking 40 year, a man in his 40s fucking going, Kito, Aune. Pop. Not like that, Kaiba. What the fuck? The Kaiba always want parents? Is that why he's doing this? Wait, wait, so... I mean, we were doing the whole marriage arc. Asuna, Kirito, Mama, Papa. This is our virtual game baby. Okay, I see where we're going. Uh, All right, sure. Uh, I'm not your mom! Okay, we've Mama adopted a fucking baby. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this shit. I, I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> We're literally playing family ho at home now. You want some? You got your own sandwich on the fucking plate. Why are you looking at mine? I will not fall for this cute girl, dude. Yeah, eat that spicy shit. Blame yourself. Yeah, you asked for it. Oh, she's kind of cute though. Oh no, she's kind of cute. What are they doing? Are we getting baited? Are we... Like, if we're following the same pattern of Kirito getting close to people and then just like being like ripped off from any of that to make him more edgy and emo, we're beyond that, right? I don't think that should happen again. But like, imagine this girl just gets introduced for us to follow like, I don't know, feel like, you know, nice to, and then she just dies, <laughs> you know? Like, she just fucking dies. Like, Kirito just got a family and the family is just gone. <laughs> and then he returns to the front lines of the edgy fucking, you know, <laughs> the black swordsman. <laughs> What do you think? I think that she's Kayaba! Too convenient! This is Kayaba! Asuna feels so bad for the kids. She has such a soft heart, you know? Yeah, remember, every day you don't go back to clearing. All those people at the front line are dying because of you guys. Jesus Christ. You gotta find her fucking parents. But I thought we're her parents. I feel like we can't leave her. Is that fine? Yeah. yeah, it's a real home. A real wife. Kirito, why are you bending over like that? Alright, it's time to go all the way down to the starting town and find Yui's parents. Okay. The army? Oh, that shitty guild? Remember army that they all died? Kovats, I think. Alright, back to the first floor. It's been a while. Ah, that's Yui right there, guys. No, we found Yui. No, Kaiba, what you doing? That first episode was sick. Yes, every building looks familiar because I created them. 
中央市場に行ってみようぜ Damn, do these NPCs just stand here and do fucking nothing? Like, because nobody's here anymore in the starting town? Do the NPC merchants just sit out here forever, just frozen in time until a customer shows up? That is fucking. That's so dystopian. Look at this guy, he has to force a smile. Wait, we still have 6,000? What? I thought that, like. So many people have died. In, in fact, the first couple episodes, weren't we already like called up a couple thousand? There's still 6,000 left. And I think he said that last episode, only like 500 ish, right? Wait, we lost 8,000? The remaining players in SAO, it reminds you of 6,000. The math doesn't work out, right? There's 10,000 overall, but there's remaining 6,000. 4,000 died, right? So, and then there's only 500 people that's like actually trying to grind, right? While everyone else is just like, yeah, maybe I don't want to die, you know what I mean? Oh, that's actually a lot of people still in. 2,000 people are still in the starting town, huh? <laughs> Return the ch- Oh! The fuck? Are you serious? The army is involved in child trafficking? Yo, this guild was so shitty already before, but they were just idiots, but they're actually in some sinister shit. <laughs> Wait, the military, the army is recruiting kids unethically into the military, too. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Pay taxes? Yo, fuck them. Fuck them. Sensei, we need more money. <laughs> you mean the clothes? Kirito, where you at? Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh. I guess I shouldn't expect these idiots to remember who we are because it's probably a separate squad, you know, during the, the Gleam Eyes, you know, dungeon, right? God, I hate the army, dude. The army fucking sucks. Straight up, I think that I like Laughing Coffin more than the army because at the very least, Laughing Coffin are just straight up evil and they enjoy doing PK and I understand that. I can respect that they're just pieces of shit, but they fully embrace it. These army parade around role-playing as in for the people, for democracy. You need to give us everything for the people. It's like, shut the fuck up. These guys suck. Oh my God, y'all are so fodder. Kirito. Oh shit. It's time to PK the army? <laughs> Don't you know that this is the flash? <laughs> Die. Die. Oh, now this is the Asuna that I love. Yes. I guess they don't recognize her without the armor on, huh? Oh, but we can continue to torture them like this. But the military men getting feared by 15 year old girl. Run away. Just run. Ooh. Cowards. That's right. Run, pussies. At the very least, you could run with some dignity instead of going like. <laughs> Dude, come on. You don't have to scream that loud. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty cool. <laughs> what are we doing right now, though? We're trying to find her parents. That's right. Little detour. Hearts? What the fuck is she doing? Everyone's heart. She's reaching out to the sky. Shh, he's insane. The dark place is the scene that we see in the opening with all the different monitors. Is Yui some kind of bug or defect of the game that... Or is she an experiment of Kayaba? What, what the fuck is she? Oh! Shit! Oh! Do my fucking ears!
Did someone just try to take off the nerf gear? What just happened? Is she lagging? Or did someone try to take off her nerf gear? Mama. I don't know. And she's stuck in some really dark place that we saw in the opening. What the fuck was that episode? I... We're, 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 we're playing, you know, married couple life. It's, it's kind of nice that the, you know, the romance between these two are escalating. And I, I guess the most important part of the, the romance is that Kirito is wondering, outside of this game, will our love transcend, right? So, like, I'm sure if we ever actually go out of the game, Austin said that I will find you and fall in love again. So maybe that's a bit of foreshadowing. Besides that, this little girl that is not an NPC, is apparently some kind of player maybe, but she's missing the cursor, you know, the green thing that's hovering over. And like, we're playing like mama and papa, and then she starts to have a fucking schizo attack. And she's like, everyone's hearts. And we did see her. We did see her in the opening, but who really knows from the opening what it means to be stuck in a room like this, right? I'm just gonna assume she's an anomaly of the system. She's a fucking glitch, and she has somehow the access to the mainframe, and you know, something along those lines. But it's like, eh, eh, I don't, I don't know where we're going with this. Um, I kind of want to go back to the main lines and fight Heathcliff and do more guild stuff and stuff like that. But I guess this is a necessary plot point that we have to go through. So that's it from me. If you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time. Take care.